Barry Rice was surprised to find most of Edmonds' inner urban station still intact. Rice was renovating the building near First Street and Broadway when he uncovered the 1920s structure. The Oklahoma Railway Company operated the electric trolley system that ran by the station. Lines extended from El Reno and Norman to Guthrie. Rice plans to redevelop the historic station into an open-air pavilion as part of the property he has for lease next door. And this is what the building looked like uh, when I purchased it, uh, pretty much, except for the sign. Uh, at the time I bought it, it was the uh, Howard Dental Clinic, and it was just a storefront. Uh, and it was had been Matthew's Shoes back in the 60s, but I always knew that the old original inner urban station was inside this building because the west side of the building, the face of the alley, was the west side of the inner urban building. And so this is what I found once we tore down uh, the original facade and the old concrete block building. We found Edmonds' original inner urban station. When I bought the building, I didn't really know what I was going to do with it. The building itself was in pretty bad shape, so I, I looked at it and decided it would just be too cost prohibitive to uh, restore or to, to uh, remodel the building that was there. So I decided, and after getting into the uh, building and looking and uh, tearing out some walls, I realized that there was enough of the inner urban station that that was my best bet, is to save the inner urban station and tear down the rest of the building. The building itself I hope that the public will use and uh, the downtown business merchants. Uh, I'd like to see some outdoor dining. Um, it'd be a great retail location, uh, the building next. Door.